Hi, uh, this uh, video tutorial I will cover intercepting filter design pattern. First we will see the explanation of intercepting filter design pattern. Uh, I have put together uh, two explanation. I will read out one by one. Uh, the intercepting filter design pattern is used when we want to do some pre-processing of the request and post-processing of the response in the application. And uh, second point is uh, filter can do the authentication, authorization or uh, lo logging or tracking of the request and then pass the request to the corresponding handlers. Uh, we will see one diagram so that you will understand this sentence uh, clearly. Uh, here uh, you can see client and the right side you can see a target and the middle you can see the filter. Uh, usually client send a request to the uh, target okay and uh, before uh, uh, the request reaches to the target uh, what we can do is uh, we can pre-process the request using the filter uh, and uh, target will uh, process the request and it will send response to the client before uh, response reaches to the client we can do post processing of the request okay so basically this uh, filter is used to pre-process the request and post process the response and also we can write uh, common uh, functionalities like authentication authorization or logging or tracking of the request so first we will see what is authentication so authentication uh, means uh, user will enter username and password uh, in the application then they will say submit and uh, uh, in filter what we can do is uh, we can write logic to verify uh, the username and password whatever user has entered is proper or not if it is proper allow them to enter into the uh, application if it is not proper we should not allow the user to enter into the application and uh, next one is authorization authorization uh, means uh, based on the user role uh, we can allow uh, user to uh, access certain functionality and uh, uh, we should not allow user to access certain functionality suppose say uh, if admin uh, user is logging to the system uh, he should have access to all the functionalities in the system if a normal user is uh, uh, entering into the system then uh, he can do certain functionality he can't do certain functionality that kind of logic we can write it in the filter also we can uh, track the request uh, requ uh, request is coming from which client which IP address uh, that kind of uh, tracking we can do okay uh, next we will see what and all uh, components which involved in uh, intercepting uh, filter uh, design pattern there are uh, five components uh, which involved uh, first one is client second one is uh, filter manager and third one is filters fourth one is uh, filter chain and the final one is uh, target or request handler uh, like i already uh, explained uh, filters are used to pre-processing the request and uh, post-processing the response and next one is uh, filter chain so what is the main use of uh, filter chain is our main responsibility of filter chain is uh, it contains uh, ordered collection of filters and uh, it is responsible for executing the filters in uh, proper or defined order okay once it execute all the filters in defined order then it will execute the target or it will send the request to the target or request handler so that is the main responsibility of filter chain and uh, next common is filter manager the filter manager manages the filter processing so it is responsible for uh, manage the filter processing uh, functionality and uh, what it does is it will create the filter chain and it will add appropriate uh, filters in uh, uh, defined order or in correct order and once it uh, once it uh, does that initial setup like uh, it created a filter chain and added the filters in uh, proper order then it will initiate the processing of the uh, it will just initiate the processing okay so that is the main work of uh, filter manager um, so you can see client send the request then uh, filter manager uh, it will what it, what it will do is it will create the filter chain and it will add the filters then it will initiate the processing and filter chain what it will do is it will uh, so it, now it has a uh, uh, list of uh, filters uh, which is added by the filter manager right so 
what it will do is it will take all the filters and execute the uh, uh, filters in uh, defined order once uh, all the filters executed uh, it will uh, invoke the target or request handler so this way the whole intercepting uh, filter uh, sequence uh, intercepting filter will work okay and uh, I have created separate video for intercepting filter uh, class diagram and uh, sequence diagram and uh, I have created uh, a separate video for uh, how to write intercepting filter uh, design pattern I have provided sample code also so please log into my channel and uh, watch those videos to understand more about uh, this uh, intercepting filter design pattern okay and uh, this is about intercepting the uh, filter design pattern introduction and uh, thanks for watching bye